Hello everyone! Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a little Shein accessories haul. I just have a few items to show you guys. And these are, I, I feel like they're themed items. They kind of all go together. I don't want to say it's like all like a cloudy day type items, but I kind of feel like most of them are uh, the accessories, like the jewelry at least definitely is. And then the um, like the purses and stuff are definitely really good items to go with neutral looks, which also ties into my video from earlier this week. If you guys have not seen my clothing haul for this week, go check it out. It is all about the neutrals this week, so we are going to get right into it. And I'm going to start off with the necklace that I'm wearing here. So I've actually bought this necklace before. And I got it in like the champagne gold kind of color so I wanted to I've been trying to do like more silver items uh, more silver <laughs> more silver jewelry pieces and um, I, I think it looks pretty cute I can't say that I love it more than the champagne like the the gold chain one that I have of this just because I am a sucker for uh, you know, gold, rose gold, that kind of thing. I'm really trying to branch out with silver and give it a chance, so we'll see how it goes. I'll probably have to wear this one a little bit more to get comfortable with it. I actually have these earrings here that I'm wearing, and these are so cute. You guys can even see them from here. They have kind of like a layering effect to them, and they sound expensive. They feel a little bit heavy, which personally I love. They're not too heavy where they're going to like drag your ear down or anything, but they look and feel expensive and I really love these even though they're just kind of more on the simple side you could definitely pair these with you know more uh, luxury classy items or just kind of even like a top like this I feel like it just kind of adds that extra class to whatever you're wearing we're going to begin more so with the <laughs> cloudy items here I guess so we have these up first these are so adorable! I love that the like the top one is a little cloud too and how you know the these are like the little gems at the bottom that are dangling are supposed to be I'm pretty sure raindrops because they're a little bit of like a blue color and these are so cute! I could wear them with what I'm wearing right now. Next up um, I have kind of a similar type earring so we have these and these are really cute. These are um, maybe a little bit more extra than the previous. I do love the detailing on the clouds and what's really cool is like the lightning bolts, if you turn them around, they're blue. And I thought that's really cool. I wouldn't consider them necessarily reversible because if you look at the blue side, the clouds are not as like, um, they don't have that same look to them, that kind of like buffed out look. They look a little bit more like blah, you know, like little, um, a little boring on the back without that like cloud detail that it's doing on the front. I don't know if it's just like buffed out. I don't know how they did that or maybe it's just like a paint sort of overlay and I broke it a little bit. So I'm probably gonna, you know, hot glue that back together. So not the best of quality there, but um, they're cute. I'm judging myself for buying these. I'm, I'm judging myself here, but Okay. <laughs> I can't I can't take these seriously. Um, always down on the bridge of your nose for most sunglasses. Everything looks 20 times better when you do that, even if they're extremely questionable to begin with. I love like when I move around even slightly, these all just dangle. Um, it makes so much noise. <laughs> um, okay. These were clearly not everyday use type sunglasses. These are um, a photo shoot kind of sunglass where um, you can kind of just do some different things with them. Um, it's definitely a mood, you know what I mean? Like it's definitely a moody type pair of sunglasses. Listen, sunglasses on Shein are like two to three dollars. So you're really not striking out hard if you don't end up liking the pair of sunglasses that you get. I feel like every time I place an order, I try to get like a little, like one wild pair and one pair that I'd actually like wear out every day. So this is my wild pair for this video here. 
So let me know what you guys think about these. I would love to get some photo shoot ideas from you guys as well. So if you have any inspirations for, you know, a photo shoot for these kinds of sunglasses, definitely put that down in the comments below because I am on the look, on the lookout for that. So for my not extra pair of sunglasses, I have this pair right here. So I wanted to just add like a pop of color to this haul because with your neutrals, it's I personally, I feel like a pop of color on anything that you wear is always a good move. And that's just me personally. I enjoy like that pop of color, that contrast, that emphasis. And I think it just brings the whole outfit together. So you could easily wear, you know, like these brighter shades with a neutral, darker outfit. And it would really just like make the look. That's just me personally. That's how I feel. But I actually really like these. Um, I've talked about this in a previous video too, but of course, you know, these are sunglasses from Shein. They're two to three dollars. They are not UV protected, you guys. So if you're trying to wear these to block the sun, that's that's not happening, right? Like these are very, very transparent. They're not gonna do much as far as actually blocking any of these sun rays. But if you're just wanting them for a cute look for the day, get yourself a pair for sure. We have two ads for today. So this one I thought was kind of like between a bucket hat and then one of those fisherman beanies. Looking at it now, it kind of reminds me of like those Russian hats. They're called um, Ushankas, I believe. Um, but let's see how it goes. Okay. 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 you wear this <laughs> okay um I feel like this is not gonna work out at all do I do I rock it as like a beanie like do I usually for beanies I'll kind of like push down the back kind of like curve it into um, closer to the ends of the hat so it kind of looks like a beanie I feel like this is just too big. I think this is too big. I am just utterly ridiculous and I was totally wearing this wrong, you guys. So you fold the top over once for it to fit. It does kind of look like a fisherman beanie or a yushanka, but it looks a lot better like that. For a lighter neutral hat for this haul, I have this really cute kind of like see-through bucket hat with the little butterflies on it. like. Come on, let's go. This one is so cute. And it has like these little strings inside. So I think you can like tighten the um, the cap of it a little bit. So let's see, let's see how this one looks. I love bucket hats. I think that they are always a good choice. Um, this one is different because I, I think I would have personally liked if there was a white material underneath on the top, just on the top, and then like the, the brim of the hat be, um, what is going on? My hair, okay. And then like the brim of the hat be like see-through, the brim to be you know like that transparent like see-through material only and then just the top be um have like a white material underneath it i think personally that would look a little bit better just just the way that i feel about it but the detail on this one is super cute because not only is it lace and it has the butterflies on it there's actually details on the lace which i really enjoy so just to give you guys one more close-up of the hat Can really see like all of the details on this one so um, I really like this one I would probably rate it like an 8 out of 10 just because there are things that I would like to change about it but it's still a really 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 cute hat and it's so incredibly different and I love it for that so today I have a purse and a fanny pack so I will start off with the purse that I have first of all so I wanted to show you guys what it came in it came in like a little like bubble wrapped material here um, and then the item itself came wrapped, so um, 
it's on there really good so we're gonna take a minute to get all this stuff off of it it's like saran wrap okay so quite literally like <laughs> 10 minutes later it's been 84 years I got almost all of the saran wrap stuff off on this um, definitely don't love that it comes in that I understand trying to keep the case you know in good condition so I just feel like it was a little bit too sticky but it also came with like two straps so okay yeah it smells like a nail salon in here maybe it's like an acrylic type material okay so this is how it looks finished it's a very cute very different bag but obviously you know downsides is definitely that saran wrap i don't know if you guys can see it there it's almost like they wrapped this acrylic container first and then like added the hardware pieces to it so i find that a little bit weird i do like that it's a little bit see-through i wasn't actually expecting that and let's see how this bad boy looks on i mean that's pretty cute that is pretty cute i actually really dig this um, I can see a lot of the items that you would put into, you know, your purse if you were carrying this around for the day would be like your keys and a chapstick and I can see that getting, you know, really rattly. So there would be a lot of downsides in having this little purse, but it's super cute. Like I'm totally vibing with this. I'm, I'm digging this. I think it looks really cool. If I saw someone with this little purse, I would be like, oh my gosh, like where did they get that? I've never seen anything like that. So I really, really like that. It's very stylish. Um, it's not just, you know, like a little tin can. It's a little bit see-through. It's got the little pearl accents, the gold chain, the gold hardware. So it is like a different, a different kind of girl. Next up we have this little fanny pack here so wow look at that I love all the chains on here this is a perfect size I could actually fit my phone in here I believe um, and again like you know chapstick keys I could fit like the actual essentials in this one and let's see how it looks on so it has like a nice you know buckle in the back but what I am realizing, this is definitely like a one size kind of thing because this is like the very last opening for the buckle that it has. And you guys can see how much room there is. That's clearly not going to work out. But pro tip, if you are similar to my measurements, go all the way to the chain pieces and just put the buckle through that. And that should hold it in place pretty well like that okay so that is this piece on I promise I'm standing as tall up as I can I'm sorry you guys the camera position today is not the best for you know fanny packs but that is what it looks like on I think it's a very cute other than the buckle being you know incredibly long I would give this one like at least a solid 7 out of 10 just for the look of it. The um, leather material looks pretty nice, it doesn't look too cheap or anything, it's got that kind of leathery shine to it, faux leather of course, and um, I love the kind of um, box stitching in this, diamond stitching in this is what it would be called. So I love that about it. I think it does look very luxurious, very classy. It definitely would go with a lot of neutral looks. So that's exactly what I was going for here. And I think I'm pretty happy with both of the kind of purse and fanny pack items I have in this haul. Okay, and last up for accessories, I have these right here. Oh my goodness. Okay. These are so, so cute. I know they're not exactly neutral. They're definitely a lot more of a pop of color, but that's kind of what I talked about previously, right? Like I love having my neutral outfits with a little bit of a pop of color in them. So I would definitely wear these to be like the pop of color on a neutral outfit. I think these are very cute. I love kind of like the strappy square toed shoes, the low heel. Um, I'm, I've never had like a pair of 
these kind of shoes that's like have like a little spot specifically for your toe so I wouldn't be able to wear like my lace socks with these either kind of similar to like the last pair I showed in my accessories haul from last week that um, lilac kind of pair of the square toed shoe I feel like because of the color alone I probably wouldn't want to wear lace socks anyways but I, I literally can't with these because of that like that toe split here and I imagine out of all of the kind of like square toed shoes that I have that are kind of open like this I would probably be wearing these the most I love this color it's kind of a um, kind of like a dark seafoam green um, very unique like you will not see a lot of shoes in this color and in this style so very happy with these I'm pretty sure I get my shoes in a six and a half usually especially with open toed shoes because my feet are usually about a six and a half unless like I'm wearing boots or something then if I want to like layer socks I'll get like a seven but um, for open toed shoes I'm definitely like a six and a half I continuously have a problem when I am trying to record my outros I don't push the play button so here we are again take three so that is everything for today guys I really hope that you enjoyed I hope that you found some pieces that you liked yourself I thought this was a really cute neutrals accessories haul so if you made it this far thank you so so much for watching and please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to keep seeing more of my videos I do post at least once a week if not more especially more as of lately so you know if you enjoyed this definitely hit that subscribe button. I have so much more coming for you guys. And um, please comment your favorite piece down below or comment and let me know if you would ever get robotic eyes. If that were something that we could offer in the future, would you get robotic eyes? Um, that's been something on my mind since Cyberpunk came out and me and my boyfriend were kind of like talking about it and he, he seems down with it. And I'm like, <laughs> No, that's not for me. That's not for me, but I would be curious to hear what other people think about it. Would you get robotic eyes if it were an option? Let me know down below in the comments. That's it, you guys. Have a great week. I will hopefully see you soon, and goodbye.